Come on, magical friends, I'm Calmingo. Now this is part three of me decorating the Halloween Haunted Mansion. But in this video, I managed to finish the living room and the kitchen. And I'm super proud of how they turned out. But let's go ahead and see what I did with it. Now I did split the living room area into two areas. On this side of the wall, we had the living room. And on the other side, we have a little dining room. Now in the living room, we got some like bookcases, a TV, and a fireplace. We even got some like floating books that the ghosts are trying to steal. Evil ghosts, if they even look guilty. But probably my favorite part is Dave over here on the couch. He's all, he's all laying down, eating some candy out of his candy bowl. Good job, Dave. You've had, you've had a good way to get comfortable. Now, something I did add to the previous areas is I actually added a pumpkin in the corner. And I added a whole bunch of more spider webs and the chandelier in the middle. Which does help this area grow a little bit. But back to the living room, we got some photographs of like a bone, and a um, butterfly, even a ghost over here. And a cool little pumpkin lamp that's really cool. But overall, I'm super proud of this area. I got, I'm very happy with how this turned out. But moving on over here, we got a cool little pet cove under the stairs. It even has a cool little seating area for me if I want to sit next to the pet. And the last thing in this area is actually a dining room. So we've got a little table, four seats, some bones on the table, and a ghost just taking a seat waiting for food. And for these right here, these are actually the sci-fi tables, just colored black to blend in with the wall. And they have a cool little orange trim on, a little glows orange. I think this looks really, really cool. But moving on from the fantastic living room and dining room, we have the kitchen, which is just absolutely hilarious. We, we got we got a skeleton in the trash can. We got some pumpkins hanging out on top of the fridges. Now this room was kind of big, so I did put in two fridges, two sinks, and two stoves. Because, you know, I double everything up. But we got a cool little kitchen area here with a bowl of fruit. And even, even got a cake right here, too. Made out of a bunch of the spheres and stuff. And you even got some bookcases here with, like, some recipes for some creepy Halloween meals. This one specifically is probably how to make candy corn. <laughs> and over here we have a little um, dish cabinet to hold like our plates and stuff. And, like, and a floating rocking chair. But you know, it's Halloween. You, you, you gotta have the floating rocking chair. It's necessary. And my favorite part of the room has to be the cauldron. Because it got like a bunch of floating ingredients above it. Like a butterfly, a clock, a, pump, a pumpkin pie, some bones. And it even looks like there's a fire below it too using a bunch of uh, slopes. But now that we've shown the rooms, let's go ahead and see how I made them. Alright, so this is the room empty of where we're going to put all of the things. And over here is the room that's holding all the things right now. And it looks so crowded. There's so many things in here. But starting off first, we're going to go ahead and put the fireplaces in. And we're going to put it on both sides. Now, I am lining these up to be like a little bit out farther from the wall so we can use the tops as like shelves for stuff which we do end up doing later but once we get those in i go ahead and grab the bookshelves and put them on both sides of the living room fireplace just to like fill in the wall so there's more stuff going on in there and, and next i go ahead and grab the rug for the living room and once we get that going, I go ahead and grab a spider web to put above the uh, dining room side of it. And I grab this red spider web and put under the staircase for later. And I also go ahead and grab all of the other um, spider webs and place them all around the room, mainly above the staircase, just because there's not a whole lot of stuff going up there except for that. And I do make sure to save two for rugs for both the back door and front door, because technically these are supposed to be rugs. After that, I go ahead and grab these vanity light strips that I put above the fireplace in the living room, which look really, really good. That really brings in a lot of light to the top of the room. And I also go ahead and grab this ghost to put it up there, too. And right after that, I go ahead and grab my red couch just to get it in there. I will, I will be moving that again later. And I also go ahead and grab a bunch of the decorations, like the uh, photos and the clocks for the living room, just because it's kind of hard to drag everything out of the room when I need it. I also go ahead and grab the coffin and, this, uh, and a small brick in order to actually place things on top of the coffin, because it doesn't have a hitbox. So I put like the candelabra, a book, and a blood bag on top of the coffin, which really, it looks really good. I also use the same brick in order to put the TV on top of the fireplace. 
And after I get the TV positioned, I go ahead and use one of the bricks in order to place the clock floating in the air and in order to get the frames onto the wall. After that, I grab one of the bones for one of them and the butterfly for the other photo. I also go ahead and put up the third photo next to the front door behind, like, the main couch and stuff. And the ghost that goes inside of it. Next, after that, I go ahead and grab the lamp and put a brick below it so that way I can actually put the pumpkin on top of it. In order to make that really cool pumpkin lamp in the corner. And after that, I go ahead and grab the demon thrones to put next to the clock. Just for, like, some little seating areas in the living room. Really brings the whole room together. I also go ahead and move the couch. And I also um, use one of the bricks I used to place the TV in order to place in the spooky little pumpkin face on top of the TV. I also go ahead and grab the cabinet to put next to the front door with its pumpkin and the candy bowl. I go ahead and grab a couple ghosts in order to put in the living room too, just for like on the little divider. I also go ahead and put a pumpkin on the staircase in the corner, and I put the lamp light above the spider in the corner too. With its couch and all of its plants. And after I place on the couch, I go ahead and grab the three plants from the room in order to put them behind the couch. And I do use bricks in order to raise them above the couch so that way they look a little bigger. Which I'm very happy with how that turned out. And once I'm done, I go ahead and move the couch in order to grab all the bricks and put it back. Go ahead and grab the skeleton. And I use the same bricks I used to raise the plants and everything to lay the skeleton down on the couch. And I also go ahead and grab the mirrors that go next to the front door above the a candy bowl. And I fix the ghost. And after all that, I go ahead and put the alarm clock on the stand using a couple bricks. I also grab the little pet seat to put underneath the staircase and all the other things to go down there too, like the pet bed and the pet bowl. After that, I go, I go grab the cabinet that goes right next to the back door and all the stuff that goes in it too. I also use some bricks sunken into the ground in order to actually put things on the shelf itself because you can't actually put things on the shelf normally. But if you use bricks, move them away, and then put the shelf there, you can actually put things on the bottom shelf, which is really cool. After that, I go ahead and grab the second light from the living area to light up with the front door, just for like a little bit more roof lighting. I also grab the rug for the dining area and the table that goes there. And also all of the chairs, I go ahead and line all those up. And once everything's lined up, I go ahead and grab a bunch of bones and the red plates in order to put them on the table. I also grab the sci-fi things to put on top of the wall with the bones that go in front of in front of them. And I grab the tall pumpkin to put next to in the the pet seat and pet area. The rug I also grab and I grab the little um face and one of the ghosts to put back there too. Just to fill in the entire area area. I also grab a photo frame and this bare little prism thing to actually put in the frame, which looks really, really good. And after that, I go ahead and put the light above the table, put the bone on the floor next to the table, and I also put the cuck cuckoo clock away. After all that, I go ahead and grab all the books, and I use a bunch of extra large bricks in order to actually lean the books up against the bookshelves, which works out really, really well. This is a really good way to float things and float them curved by using a bunch of br big bricks. I do that for both sides. I do have to stack from the wall, so it is a little bit expensive to get that started. Probably like a 100 gems in order to actually do that, but you can sell them at the end anyway, and you get all your money back. And once all those final four books are placed, we are done with the living room and the dining area. Now let's go ahead and move on to the kitchen. Alright, so this is where we're going to build the kitchens. Now, right here is where we're going to put the fridges. I just have that pre-built there because I don't want to build it again. But every single, every single thing on this shelf and everything in this room is going to fit inside the kitchen. But let's go ahead and get started. So, the first thing I did was I went ahead and started with the rugs. So I took all of the rugs 
and I'm using them as the flooring this time instead of the wall. So I am using striped rugs, and I use two of them on each side of the room for a custom flooring. And once I get them perfectly lined up, I go ahead and grab the second set of them and do them on the other side. Now, once those are lined up, I go ahead and grab the spider web rugs and I put them all in between the two. That cool little division in the room. I do use three of them just like they fill in the area fully. After that, I go ahead and recolor all of the black pieces on the fridge area and I go ahead and start putting the fridges in it. I do, I, I do use two fridges mainly because of this room, needing to fill in more room, but it looks really, really good. After that, I go ahead and grab the bookcases to put next to the door. I'm guessing these could be like recipe books or something. I think they look really cool though. After that, I go ahead and grab this cabinet and put it on the other side of that window. And I also go ahead and grab all the bones that go on the front of it. Like line them up with the X's that are already on it. I think it looks really, really good that way. After that, I go ahead and grab the candelabra and the mirrors to put above the cabinet. I do, I do do them sideways instead of upwards like I do normally. And I also grab the blood bag. And the zombie cupcake to put on top of it too. Just like add a little more extra decorations. And I grab the first of two of the really big counters and I put it right here in the middle of the room. And I grab the second one and put it against the wall in order to hold the sinks and stuff. After that, I grab both ovens to put up against in the, the wall in the corner. And once that's done, I go ahead and buy a brick in order to put this painting next to the fridge area. I do put a couple stars in the, in the painting as a cool little decoration. And after that, I grab the spider to put above the ovens. A little, it's a little chef spider. And all the pumpkins to put on top of the fridge. I, do put, I, do, I put a tall one the normal round one, and the glowing one on top of there. And once that's done, I go ahead and grab the large wall in order to put the sinks in the area, and the mirror. I do lower it or it actually fits, fit the sinks in because you can't actually stack things on top of these counters. So you need to put a, a brick like this in order to put the sinks in. I line up on the handle and do a cool little double sink, and I, after that I line up correctly, I raise the wall back up in order to put the mirror and all the decorations on the counter. So I, have like a, I have some knives, I have some mats, I have a cutting board, how to put a bone on, a toaster, another like a clock, another mat with a fruit bowl on, some more red plates, and some napkins, and I have all these cylinder pieces that I actually can make a cake out of. I kind of like model the colors after like a candy corn, which is really cool too. And once I do all those, I go ahead and raise the wall and bring up a basket and a skeleton to put inside the basket. And I use the wall in order to actually get the guy to go upside down. After that, I grab a normal brick and I place down the rocking chair floating next to the cabinet. And I also put a ghost floating in a window too, like peeking, it, peeking in into the kitchen. I also do the same for the invisible pumpkin, and I painted the little glowing part of it black in order to put in front of the window. I also go ahead and grab a light in order to put above the little sink area. And after that, I go ahead and grab the witch's brew rugs and put them on both entrances. And once that's done, I go ahead and drag all the things up for the cauldron, which is the last thing we need to build. Now, I do use little spheres for a little guider of where I want to put the cauldron. And I surround it by a bunch of colored slopes, all shining like black and red. It kind of looks like some like a fire below the cauldron. I do leave the middle of it open to actually slide in the cauldron and all the decorations into the middle. That way the thing isn't too high up in the air. And once I get that going, I go ahead and grab the glowing pumpkin that I painted black and I set it in the middle in order to add like a little fire glow to the cauldron, like it's actually on fire. After that, I grab like a really big um, rectangle brick and start floating all the items above it. So I like have like some bones, an alarm clock, a pie, a bunch of basic decorations. 
And once I get them all where I want, I go ahead and delete the bricks. And overall, I'm pretty happy with how this room turned out. I especially love the cauldron. But if you ever want to see the mansion in person, make sure to follow me on Roblox so you can join me in game. And if you ever see me online, you're always welcome to join. But I'd like to wish you some good luck on getting your dream pets, and I'll see y'all later. Goodbye!